Welcome to TechLogix. In today's video, we'll guide you through the initial setup process for activating your Hikvision DVR for the first time. We'll start by ensuring the hard drive is properly installed in the DVR. If you haven't done this yet, please check out our previous video for detailed instructions on hard drive installation. Once the hard drive is correctly installed, you can proceed with the setup smoothly. Once the hard drive is installed, begin by connecting your cameras using BNC cables to the DVR's input ports. All ports are numbered, so you can connect the cameras in your preferred order based on these numbers. This flexible setup allows you to organize your cameras according to your surveillance needs. Next, connect the provided USB mouse to one of the DVR's USB ports, which makes it easier to navigate through menus, adjust settings, and control the DVR during the configuration process. After that, connect your display device, such as a TV or monitor, using either the HDMI or VGA port to view real-time footage and interact with the user interface. Optionally, you can connect a LAN cable from your internet modem or router to the DVR. This allows you to access the camera feeds remotely via a mobile app or a web browser, providing convenience and monitoring flexibility from anywhere. Make sure your network is properly configured for remote viewing, and consult your network provider if needed. Finally, connect the DVR's DC power adapter to the device and plug it into a power outlet. Turn on the DVR, and you'll see the initial setup screen appear. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the basic configuration, including setting a secure password, initializing the hard drive, and setting the date and time. Note, for more detailed instructions on connecting camera video and DC power using CCTV cables or CAT6 cables, please refer to our previous video for clarification. With these steps completed, your DVR will be fully set up and ready to serve as your reliable security solution. If you encounter any issues or need further assistance, feel free to leave a comment or check out our other tutorials. Once the DVR is powered on and booted, you may see the initial setup wizard displayed on your connected monitor. Additionally, the DVR will start making beeping sounds because the hard disk drive is new and needs to be formatted for first-time use. To complete all of the initial setup steps, connect the USB mouse to the DVR and use it to configure the settings as follows. The first step of the activation wizard is to select your region and language based on your country. This helps ensure that the DVR settings, including date and time, are correctly aligned with your location. Next, select your time zone to match your geographical area. Then, choose the preferred date format according to your regional standards. Finally, use the mouse pointer to set the current date and time accurately, adjusting the values as needed to complete the setup. Next, create your own password for the DVR's admin access. By default, the username is assigned as admin, enter your chosen password in the password field and confirm it in the confirm password field. Additionally, set a password hint that can help you remember or retrieve your password in case you forget it. This step is important for securing your DVR and ensuring only authorized users can access the system. Optionally, you can enable the pattern lock feature by toggling the unlock pattern option to on. Once enabled, a pattern window will appear, prompting you to draw your pattern twice for confirmation. This serves as an additional security measure for quick and easy access. In this demo, I drew a sample pattern, but you can create your own pattern based on your preference and security needs. Once you have completed setting your password and pattern, click the Activate button, then press the Next button to proceed to the next step of the setup process. The network setup page will open next. Make sure that DHCP is enabled to automatically obtain an IP address, which simplifies network access. If you do not have an internet connection or prefer to set a static IP manually, you can skip this step and configure the network settings later. The next page in the setup process is the storage settings window, where you can view the current status and capacity of the connected hard drive. If you have installed a new hard drive, it may display as uninitialized. This status indicates that the hard drive has not yet been formatted or prepared for use by the DVR. To make the hard drive ready for recording and storage, you need to select it and click the init button. 
This action initiates the formatting process, which prepares the drive for stable operation. The formatting process may take a few moments, depending on the size of the hard drive and system performance. Once the formatting is complete, the status will update to normal or r w, indicating that the drive is now in use and ready for data writing. The free space bar or indicator will show the total available storage, confirming that the DVR is now able to store footage on this drive. The next page is the online device section, where you can add additional IP cameras to your system. If you have IP cameras, you can follow the on-screen instructions to add them here. If you do not have IP cameras at the moment, you can skip this setup step and proceed to the next page. The subsequent page features the HitConnect option, which allows you to enable remote access via the HitConnect mobile app. If your DVR is connected to the internet, you can enable this feature now and follow the prompts to configure it. However, if you prefer, you can skip this step for now and set up remote access later at your convenience. In the final step of the activation setup, enter your email address in the designated field. This email will be used for account recovery and notifications. Additionally, set all three security questions and provide the answers. These security questions will be helpful later if you forget your DVR password, as they will assist in verifying your identity and recovering access to the system. Completing this step ensures your DVR is securely configured and easier to recover in case of password issues. After completing the activation setup, you will be prompted to enable the microphone audio capture feature. Click Yes to activate the microphone, allowing the DVR to record audio from connected cameras with audio capabilities. Enabling this feature provides comprehensive surveillance by capturing both video and audio, thereby enhancing the overall effectiveness of your security system. That's all. Your DVR is now securely configured and protected with a password, ensuring that only authorized users can access the system. With the setup complete, the DVR is ready to start recording footage from your connected cameras, providing you with reliable surveillance coverage. You can utilize your DVR for various functions, such as monitoring live feeds, reviewing recordings, setting up motion detection alerts, or customizing recording schedules. This setup helps you manage your security system effectively and keep your property safe at all times. For further clarification, additional setup options, or more detailed instructions, please follow our series of videos. If you found this video useful, we would greatly appreciate your support. Your contributions help us create more informative content and continue providing valuable resources. Whether by liking, sharing, or subscribing to our channel, every bit of support makes a big difference. Thank you for being part of our community.